Hey you guys and welcome back to my channel. Um, today I'm going to be doing a chatty get ready with me. Um, I need to get ready obviously um, so I thought this would be the perfect opportunity to sit down and kind of just chat with you guys. Um, I do have a lot of new recent subscribers who may not know me as well or you know have watched all my previous videos to like know what's going on catch up with me, that kind of thing. Um, so yeah, I thought this would be super fun to do, just something very, very chill. I feel like I say that in every single video. Also, I don't know if this is the best video to do because I'm currently ill, if you can't tell, um, and my throat hurts so bad, so freaking bad. So I'm gonna be talking for like two hours straight, but it's fine, we're gonna get through it. I apologize if I'm sneezing, coughing, whatever. I think I'm like over the hump, of my sickness. I hope, fingers crossed, I've had a nasty sinus infection. I've really been feeling terrible. I'm like breaking out. I'm sick. My hair is driving me insane. I just really want to put some makeup on to make myself feel better and I also need to film another video. So without further ado, we are going to get ready today and just catch up, chat, tell you a little bit about myself and let's get into it. All right, so I'm gonna try and remember to tell you guys what I'm using, but the whole point of this video is kinda just to like relax, sit back, let's get ready together, put this on while you're doing your makeup, let's hang out. So I'm just taking this e.l.f. Oh shoot, actually before I take this e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer, I'm going to use my Farsality, Farsality, shoot, Farsali Rose Gold Skin Mist. Um, my skin has been a little bit dry, I think. I don't really know what's going on with my skin. As you can tell, it's not in its best shape. Um, so I'm just going to kind of prime my skin with that a little bit. And then in my T-zone, I'm just going to take this putty primer and kind of push that into my oily bit. So I just want to get like prepped and then we can go ahead and jump into like the chatty portion of this. Um, I'm just exfoliating my lips with the Ola Henriksen Lucky Pucker Lip Scrub. This is like cinnamon apple flavor. It's so good. So what is new with you guys? What is going on? Tell me about your life. Um, I kind of fell off the face of the earth again there for a little bit. I've been really, really bad about that. Um, but basically... <laughs> to catch you guys up on what's been going on. Um, November just really took off for me work-wise. I had so many clients. If you don't know, I do freelance. Um, I am a freelance makeup artist. And for some reason, November just like was the month for me, which is really, really exciting. By the way, I'm just mixing um, the L'Oreal Infallible Fresh Wear and then this NYX Can't Stop, Won't Stop. I need something super full coverage because my skin is just not in a great place. I'm also not self tan, so I don't even know my foundation shade. Anyways, so November, I kind of took a step back from YouTube because I had a lot of things going on. I uh, was traveling and then I had a ton of clients which I am just so excited about. I feel like I finally got my foot in the door here a little bit. So that's really really exciting. It's hard every time you move to try and like reestablish your business a little bit. So I really wanted to embrace that and just take advantage of the good season. So yeah I was working a lot. I got to work on some really really fun shoots. I made a lot of friends. I'm really excited. Some really good connections. So that's kind of why I wasn't super active on my social media and on YouTube in November. I was working my butt off and then um, I did have family come visit um, over Thanksgiving and stuff. So I just wanted to kind of take a pause and then December... I was gone for like two and a half weeks. I'm just gonna take this um, Born This Way multi-use sculpting concealer as and hide my very dark circles. And then in December, I was gone for the first two weeks for work and to go see family. So that's kind of where that went. Then I was traveling again to go see family. Then I got like super, super sick, but I think I'm on the mend finally, which I'm kind of bummed about because I really wanted to like get a jump on all my New Year's resolutions and like really start um, fresh and like, I mean, I'm not like a new year, new me, like that's not really my vibe. Like if it's yours, like great. 
Um, but there are a few things that I really wanted to like start doing and I've just been on my deathbed. So I was kind of annoyed that I didn't get the opportunity to jump on all that right away. But it's okay. Like a week is not going to make a difference. It's not a huge deal. I feel like I'm so bad at these like chatty get ready with me because I like it gets so like in the zone and focused. I'm just going to take my Fenty Beauty setting powder. This is in the shade Butter and I'm just going to go ahead and set my forehead. Oh, this stuff is <coughs> fragrant. Oh, shoot. Not sitting well in my sore throat. <coughs> Shit. I really just can't believe how quick this year has gone. It's just been a little bit outrageous, if you ask me. I feel so ill-prepared for the new year. And I'm really excited, but I'm also a little overwhelmed and stressed. Um, I have a lot going on this year that I want to accomplish and there's just not enough hours in the day I've come to the conclusion. I really want to get back into my routine of kind of uploading twice a week at least. I'm going to take my Park Ave Princess palette from Tarte and get it open. Um, I'm just going to take this like bronzer shade here. Lately I've been really loving like a shimmery or bronzer. So I took a poll like what you guys want to see more of and everybody said makeup tutorials which was really surprising to me but I mean I'm excited. I love doing tutorials. I really want to try and be like super creative this year. That's one of my goals is to kind of step out of my comfort zone a little bit more as I'm sitting here just doing my usual makeup routine. I just want to kind of branch out and do some like fun, maybe more like bold looks. And then I'm definitely going to have some like bridal tutorials and stuff coming up because that date is quickly approaching, which is part of the reason why I am so stressed out. And then I was also wondering like, do people like tutorials shorter on like IGTV or like more in depth? And everybody said more in depth, which again is like crazy to me. Um, just taking this like cool tone shade here on my NARS Eda brush to contour. So I was kind of like surprised by like everybody's responses, but I'm glad I did it. It was like super helpful for me to see. So I appreciate everybody voting and taking part in that. So I wanted to show you guys kind of how I contour my nose because I have gotten a few questions about it um, and I have kind of changed it up a little bit. So I'm gonna interrupt this little catch up to share a little tip with you guys. Um, taking a cooler toned contour shade, I don't recommend doing this with a bronzer. You definitely wanna use a more contour shade. I'm basically going to start like in my eye socket here, I guess kind of and drag it down. I just find it makes your nose look a lot longer and skinnier if you start it up here because you kind of have natural shadows there already. So I'm just going to kind of carve that out. Again, starting kind of at the top, dragging it down. And then I do bring it like under my eyebrow a little bit. And you can just see it kind of just like pinches it a little bit. And then what I like to do is I will go under my nose with the contour shade just to kind of like push it up a little bit to get that like cute little button nose. And then I will also just kind of go on top here just so you have like a nice like round shape going on there. So this nose contour looks a little bit bold. I get that. Um, so then I'm going to take, oh, come on, um, this KKW number one banana powder. You can use a banana powder that's in that palette too or any banana powder you have. Um, and I'm just going to take that on my beauty blender and I'm actually going to kind of tap this under my eye just to kind of brighten everything up a little bit. And I'm going up like right up to that contour just to make it stand out that much more so you can kind of see the difference there. I don't know if the camera is going to pick it up, but it definitely makes a difference in person. And then what I also like to do is I do highlight my nose, but lately... On the bridge of my nose, I don't take a shimmery highlighter. I kind of just take like this banana shade again, a matte color, and I will just kind of highlight the bridge of my nose just to make it look that much more like pinched. And for brows today, I'm just taking my Anastasia Brow Definer in soft brown and just quickly filling those in. So 
I, uh, if you don't know this about me, <laughs> skip around a lot when I'm doing my makeup, so I'm gonna go in with eyes. Um, I'm going to just use my Anastasia Soft Glam Palette, and I'm just gonna use like a lot of the, well, these are all neutral shades, but um, definitely some of the more warm tones and then some of the golds, I guess. Essentially, um, this is not gonna be a super detailed look. I just kinda wanna slap some shadows on and call it a day. So, some of the things I did want to talk to you guys about are some of my goals and stuff for the new year. I don't want to call them resolutions like I said already. Um, I definitely want to call them goals. I really want to, like I said earlier, get back to uploading at least twice a week, so I'm really gonna try. And then I also want to keep vlogging and doing like kind of more lifestyle stuff um and I definitely want to be more active on Instagram and come up with some really cool content for you guys there I think it would be really fun to shoot some fun stuff I already have done a few things to kind of like prep and like pre- organize myself and I have some content like planned out already that I've already done I'm just like trying to be more organized in the way that I post and stuff like that I want my feed to be like very aesthetic and very pretty and I want to do more than just like makeup selfies I guess essentially and my goal is also just not to take like so many long breaks and just be like absent I think a consistency is one of the things that I struggle most with so I really, really want to be better about that. So that's definitely a huge goal of mine. And I need you guys to hold me to it. <laughs> but I'm really excited. We're definitely going to have some really interesting stuff for 2020, especially like in the spring and stuff. Um, I want to do more like wedding planning vlogs and just fun things like that because if you don't know we are getting married in the spring and I'm really really looking forward to it it's a long time coming um the first event had to be postponed unfortunately due to unforeseen circumstances I'm not bitter anymore I'm over it I'm good we were originally supposed to get married in August of this year but we had to move it to the spring so I'm really excited to keep planning and keep doing all that all that fun stuff that I kind of had to put on hold for a little while it's really really exciting but also a little bit stressful because I'm kind of like shoot we're in crunch time I have this 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 and this to do but at the same time I have to keep reminding myself like look at all the things you already have done kind of thing so I think I'm pretty much on track I'm doing okay um right now where I am um I am currently designing our wedding invitations so that's like a huge step like the actual invitation itself and they're gonna be really pretty very simple kind of modern but I'm really excited about that um I haven't talked much about wedding stuff a because I haven't done anything like wedding related in a really really long time but also because I kind of want it to be a surprise. I want a lot of the stuff to be revealed like the day of. I don't want to tell people too much because I just think it's fun to like walk in and be like, wow, that's what she was doing. You know what I mean? I am definitely going to do like a recap video of everything though. So don't worry, I will do that. And I am planning on vlogging a lot. Um, which I'm really excited about and we still did although our date changed and everything we still did keep the videographer yes um, so we will have a wedding video that I will of course post for everyone to see because I do want everybody to be like included and like see everything and you know it's gonna be fun um, I'm just taking a brown eyeliner and I'm going to put this in my waterline I am gonna take a little bit of this Stila um, glitter and glow shadow in follow the sun it's like a greeny gold color um, I'm doing I don't know if you can tell a little bit of a halo eye so I'm just going to like tap this in the middle essentially and then just kind of blend that out let me not crinkle this in front of my microphone 
I did get my eyelash extensions removed. Uh, they were just driving me insane. So I am going to be applying some false lashes today. It feels good to have some false lashes back on. I mean, dang, I was really missing them for a while and those took me so long to get on because I'm just super out of practice it's embarrassing I just needed to get rid of my eyelash extensions though because I felt like I could never fully wash my face and I just felt disgusting and also because of wearing contacts and stuff my eyes were just always really irritated and the upkeep was ridiculous like it was so expensive to get a fill and I needed a fill like every two weeks because I hate when they look sparse I wanted them to be like full and like boom in your face and I could just never get to that point so the style itself was like too natural <sighs> anyways as I was saying the style was really nice because it was natural but I just now that I'm wearing like more bold makeup and I want to do more bold makeup looks I just need something more like in your face you know I'm gonna take Milani Luminoso as my blush um so one thing I also kind of wanted to address really quickly and I'm not gonna spend a lot of time talking about this because I just don't have a lot to say um so I've gotten a lot of questions about Nick. So if you don't know, Nick is my fiance husband. So if you don't know, Nick is in the army and he is currently not here right now. He is away for work. Um, that's what we're going to call it. I'm just taking this Iconic London um, Prep Set Glow. So I've gotten a lot of questions. Um, where is he? when's he coming home, things like that. And while I do really appreciate everybody's like concern and like kind messages and support and stuff, I can't tell you. <laughs> That's the fact of the matter. Um, it's a safety thing and it's also kind of a none of everybody's business kind of thing, um, but mostly a safety thing. Um, I'm just taking this Wet n Wild highlighter in the shade. What shade are you? Golden Flower Crown. And lately I've been taking my highlights on a more like fluffy brush. I just like the way it disperses it a little bit better. Um, so he will be home when he's home and that's pretty much it. Um, like I said, I do really appreciate all of the DMs and kind words and stuff, but especially the way things are right now in the world, I am going to pretty much dial it back. I'm not going to talk about it ever again, and I'm not going to be giving out any information or anything like that. While everything has been super kind-hearted and people ask these questions out of concern, um, I just need you guys to really understand that I'm not able to give those details and I just I need you guys to be all right with that so again thank you so much for all the kind words that everyone has given us um, I really really do appreciate it and the fact that people are worried and are checking in on me it's very very sweet I really really do appreciate it like I cannot express it enough like it makes me feel incredibly loved and it's just so kind for you to take time out of your day to like send me a DM but I just I can't give any information and I'm not going to give any information um, and as far as him making an appearance on my channel, um, I don't, I don't know if he ever will again. Um, he has been in a few videos, mostly vlogs, and then we did do one fun video together. Um, but I think that's kind of it. Um, I don't want to say no, never, because I mean, I want nothing more than for him to be on my channel like all the time because I love him to death, but A, he's not here right now. And B, this is my thing. This is not his thing. He is a little bit more private than I am and a little bit more reserved. And if he doesn't want to, I'm not going to ask him. That's just the way it is. Um, I don't think this is really his cup of tea. He doesn't like to be like front and center or on display. He's not a huge social media guy. And again, this is my thing, not his thing. So I need to be super respectful of that. Um, that's pretty much all I have to say on the topic of him. And that's pretty much all I'm ever going to say. Um, I've noticed um, since I've been posting about him a little bit more, like an influx of DMs and stuff like that. 
and again while I do appreciate it um, I need to be very careful with that stuff so I'm pretty much gonna dial it back you probably won't see a lot of that anymore also I'm really really sorry if in the background you hear crunching the entire time Marshall's chewing on a bone right now but it's the only thing I can get him to like be semi-quiet he is like on one today which is weird because I walked him and took him to the dog park but he is a nut and a half and I don't know why He's like a toddler, so if you're interested in seeing my puppies, check out my vlogs because they make frequent appearances. So just lining my lips with this super dull stripped down lip liner from MAC. Look how, oh my god, I need to sharpen this. I cannot get a sharp line. Ugh, that's literally terrible. Nobody look at my lipstick today. Everybody always asks me if I, like when I post a picture on Instagram, people will like DM me and be like, did you get lip filler? And I'm like, no, you just gotta fake it really well with lip liner, honestly. Which I feel like people think I'm using like the old Kylie Jenner like excuse, like no, it's just lip liner, but like it actually is just lip liner, like I swear to you. I would 110%, nope, that's too peachy. Um, I would 110% tell you guys if I was getting lip filler. I would probably vlog it actually because I'm curious about it. I'm sure there's other people that are too. Shoot, what color do I use? This one? This one. Um, this is Anastasia Peachy Liquid Lipstick. I don't know how I'm gonna feel about this. Mmm. That's hella peachy. I'm gonna take a little bit of concealer and just dot her. That's what we needed. Alrighty, you guys, I hope you enjoyed getting ready with me today. This video was incredibly all over the place. Sorry, you can also kind of see my mirror. This is gonna be such a bitch to edit because I don't even know what I was talking about half the time. I ramble so badly. Um, but if you made it this far, thank you so much for watching. I am really excited to kick off 2020 with a bang. And again, to all my new subscribers, welcome. I'm really glad you guys are here. I'm so excited to continue to grow and really evolve this channel. I'm really enthusiastic and I have a lot of exciting plans my goal is to actually make those plans happen I need to follow through I need to work on that so again thank you so much for watching if you haven't already please give this video a thumbs up and if you have not subscribed you know what to do and I will see you guys in my next video bye so catch me